So eDNS is extension mechanisms for DNS. So if you think about the DNS in general, one thing that's fascinating about the DNS is it's over 30 years old. And so we, we spend lots and lots of money on internet infrastructure, but to most people, if the DNS is not working, then that means the network is not working, right? So 30 years ago, it was in its initial design, um, it was designed for fairly small packet sizes, 512 bytes over UDP. And as the internet progressed, of course, we saw a need for larger packet sizes over UDP. We want UDP because it's fast and very low overhead, okay? So eDNS means we can expand this packet size and up to 4096 bytes. And for things like IPv6 and DNSSEC, this is what we want in our modern internet. eDNS is actually 15 years old, so a lot of people don't realize this. It's taken a very long time for deployment, full deployment of IPv6 and full deployment of DNSSEC. So a lot of people don't realize that the, the foundations of what those are built upon, eDNS, is actually 15 years old. So what we find is we've been running a testing tool called eDNS Comp um, that looks for res eDNS responses uh, based on queries that we run. And we've been doing this for about two years now, and we've, we see all kinds of um, crazy behavior. Very rarely you'll see sort of full compliance based, and this is all RFC based. We're not testing for things that are not uh, standards based. And the things that we worry about the most are like in, in current deployments, if you're not responding properly, that you could, you could possibly break DNSSEC validation for some clients. Um, so we see from that extreme to the extreme of sending an unknown eDNS option to um, uh, a server and it not responding properly. Most of the, the DNS vendors, whether they be open source or commercial based, they respond appropriately in almost all cases. Uh, these days it's really uh, middleware or firewalls that are blocking um, you know, some eDNS queries and responses. The testing tool is eDNS comp. .isc.org, and if you go to this site, it's all, you know, it's free, there's no cost, but you can enter in your domain and we will run a series of tests for you. So you don't have to go through and read all the RFCs and figure out exactly how you need to be compliant for eDNS0, uh, we do that part for you. So we run a series of queries and we give you a nice report on your domain. And then likewise, if you're an operator, um, you can enter in any domains that you host and the same thing, we'll give you a report uh, based on RFC specifications if you're, uh, if you're behaving properly.